Hey guys, Brian Keller out camper man here. So I'm heading back home from a camping trip that we just did on some national forest land. And this is the first trip that I've had my camper with the flipped axles. And so I wanted to do a quick video here talking a little bit about my experience thus far with the axles flipped on our camper and just how things tow and, and whatnot. So before we talk about that, I'll tell you guys a little bit about my rig because I think that always makes a difference is what exactly you're towing and what you're towing with. So we have a 2010 Keystone Hideout 27 BWE. So it's a 27 foot camper travel trailer. It weighs about 5,000 pounds dry and we can load up to an additional 2,700 pounds. So, you know, we're looking at anywhere between six and 7,000 pounds, roughly. Um, and also the axle flip gave us an additional five inches of lift or clearance. So there's a little bit about that. Our truck is a 2005 Dodge Ram 3500. It's got the 5.9 liter Cummins turbo diesel. It's also a long bed too. So I've only had the axles flip now for uh, not even a week. Um, I've driven about 150 miles with the axles flipped. So um, it's been a mixture of driving. I've driven 75, 80 miles an hour on the interstate. I've driven on highways going 50, 60 on streets. Uh, obviously on dirt roads too. Uh, with camping on national forest land. That's you know, really all where we were going So I've had a little bit of everything And I can honestly tell you so far If anything the camper actually tows better now um, One thing that was a big difference maker is before we flipped our axles my truck was so high that even on the lowest setting of the hitch, we were still kind of getting the rake effect. And, you know, the, the back end of the trailer was so low because the, the trailer we had to get up onto the truck's hitch. So right now, it sits perfectly level. Um, really, the only area that I, I may have noticed it a little bit was around a windy section of the interstate when I was going about 50-55. I've driven that area before when the axles were not flipped and it still felt kind of wobbly. So again, I haven't really noticed anything. Also when we were on national forest land, uh, you know, we had some off axis roads and stuff that we were on and driving on ruts and it may visually look like the camper is going to tilt over because the center of gravity is higher, but you can't, it, it doesn't feel that way at all. When you're actually driving, it doesn't feel like it's going to do that at all. And it is just such a good feeling to know that when we're going on those roads and when I'm going on dips on the streets and all that stuff, there is not, pretty much not a chance that I am going to scrape my rear jacks or my dump tanks. That is a great feeling. It is so nice to not have to worry about that and constantly check my mirrors to see if I'm gonna scrape. So thus far, while I've just driven about 150 miles with the flips at the flipped axles, I have really enjoyed it and I worry less about things now than I ever did before uh, when we did not have our axles flipped. So uh, one other note, uh, one other thing I do want to make note of is the guy that helped me flip the axles also said that uh, he's done this on uh, I think he said four to five other campers he said they all said the same thing they didn't know notice a bit of difference in the towing and if anything yeah, their vehicle towed better after flipping the axles so so hope that helps you guys out. Uh, if you guys do have any other further questions about things, uh, please let me know. Otherwise, thank you guys for uh, checking out this short video here today. Please subscribe and we'll see you later.